Hello, everybody, and welcome to Night of the Dead. <laughs> yes, it's uh, the latest ooh, survival, crafting, base building, zombie horror out there. I love these kinds of games. And do you know what else I love? The 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 hardcore. <laughs> you know, you know, I want it. Hardcore mode. Hardcore mode. Should we go normal and hardcore straight off the bat? I haven't even played this game yet. Normal and hardcore. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. You know me and my hardcore games. It's just got to be done. Now, I've put the graphic settings on this up to max. So we'll have to wait and see how the game copes. And how the recording copes. Looks okay. So what have we got? A woman? Got a bunker? Can I go in? No. Okay, I've just come out of a bunker of some kind. I mean, it's, this is early access. There's no story, I suppose. Although we do have a little bit of a tutorial thing on here. So destroy a car. This looks like a car. How do I destroy it? F to break. I have watched a little bit of the somebody else play and and the you know when you go to buy the game you can see the few little demo vids. So I have a little bit of an idea what to expect. So that's fine. I know I can run up to all this stuff and dismantle it and get some bits and pieces. Though I should be paying attention to this thing. Destroy a bush. The, this is clearly a bush. That other thing's a shrubbery. Oh, no. Punching it's not good. Let's tr click one. Yep. Yeah. Uh, tree branch and leaves and a vine. Excellent. Craft a felling axe. Craft. See? No. Tab. Tab. Excellent. Get a small stone. It's iron. Small stone. Oh, that was quite convenient. So the game, I do believe, is not procedural, but I did see that the map was quite extensive. We'll have a quick look at that in a minute. <laughs> Just so we can get a feel of how big a world have we got to play with. Let's have a look. M for map. M for map. Oh, yes. I am a tiny little blob. That's a big world. More than enough. I mean, even when I play seven days to... Can't see to hit these trees. No. Fake trees. Oh, that was not. Even when I play seven days to die, even though the map is procedural... I don't tend to go very far. <laughs> I mean, once you've decided where your base is going to be... Oh, I'm not going to hit it. A lot of your game tends to be in that one spot. In the area around that spot. And even if I play Seven Days to Die on one of the pre-gen maps... I mean, those maps... I mean, they're pretty big. <laughs> you don't really need much more space than that. So... Yes, it's not great. It's not procedural because it means that every time I play this game, I'm probably going to be spawned in the same location and see the same stuff. But that's okay. If I if I if I go on to seven days of die pre gen maps, I can't seem to hit some of these trees for some reason. It's only my spawn location that's different on those. Now we're going to hit it. It's very strange, though, isn't it? When there's two together, I couldn't hit it, and then get rid of one, and I can hit the other one. Right, I'm not really paying much attention here, am I? I'm saying build a foundation. Build a foundation. Well, I have to ask myself first is this where I want to base? 
That's the most important question, especially if I'm playing this hardcore mode now. Oh, I love playing like Iron Man. <laughs> okay, uh, is this really where I want to build a base? Choices. What's up there? Can I get up there? Can I climb up there? Can they climb up there? Can the zombies climb up there? I don't know. Let's, let's try and answer the first question first. Can I get up there? Oh, it's taking an awful lot of my stamina every time I jump. Maybe... Maybe I can? It's probably a way all the way over there. But I don't know why, but that looks dangerous to me going all the way over there. Oh, let's go and find out. I mean... <laughs> If we're gonna die, let's die early, and we can try again. <laughs> be a, a great episode one to release. Tormunder, Iron Man, six minutes in, dead. <laughs> I could have just walked around the edge there, couldn't I? Me trying to be so clever. I want to see any zombies. Okay, this is... No, don't press that button. That's the wrong button. This is looking promising for a base up here. Hmm. Or is it? I'm a little confused as to... Access points here. I can go up the mountain some more. Now, building here on this edge seems sensible, doesn't it? So, yes, they can come at me from over there, and yes, they can come at me from over there, but they can come at me from over there. That's for sure. And if I block off one of these two ways in, I can almost, like, make the whole area safe. The question is, is can they come down at me from that hill? They probably could, couldn't they? And I'm not sure about keep going up and up and up and up, purely because... Everything I'm doing here is taking a risk. Exploring without even getting the basics sorted. I think it's going to get me killed. The decision here is, do I play this video to show you all what you could probably see in other people I know of streaming this video already? The basics. Now, how to do stuff, what's here. And I always like doing something different. So as I said, Iron Man from the get-go. Let's not even mess around. Let's not even have a little playthrough myself to get the hang of things. Let's go straight into hardcore mode. So what have I seen? What have I seen from the bits of videos that I have watched? One I've seen on the Steam site that you can put down a whole load of cool traps that just mash up all the zombies. Second thing I've seen, the zombies don't walk. They seem to be running and jumping, so they're more like your... Uh, seventies to not seventies like your, you know your World War Z, um, you know, one of the films, all the um, seven days later, all that kind of stuff, the redo of the Dawn of the Dead, you know what I mean, running zombies straight from the get go, seven days to die their ferals. So this isn't going to be a walk around and stab a zombie in the head, with a dagger. Well, it's going... <laughs> I 
Okay, I can see a bit more in there. What's around me? Hmm. So look, clearly there's a way up here. I can try and stop that. And yeah, this is where I'm gonna build my base. So that button, that button, floor, foundation, vines, logs, I've got all that. Now what do I do? Ah, is that a, that is, okay. So, uh, rotate, rotate. So I guess I need to try and work out what my height of my floor is gonna be. If I'm gonna block this off, I want, I want to start from the edge for me, don't I? I need it to be higher, I, from the highest point, so here. That's going to be my safest point in the base. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I'd say here. There you go. Can okay, I have another one? There we go. That's the back. It wants me to build stairs. Well, don't even have a house yet. Never mind having stairs. Let's make some more. I haven't got enough bits. Okay, what am I missing? What am I missing? Vine. These little things, I think. So what's the plan? We've got until nightfall, clearly. And it's morning. So we have quite a bit of time to get ourselves a house. However, I need some way of fighting these things. And it's all right saying, okay, I can build traps. But that's not good enough. Traps are not gonna help me explore houses, clear out places. Any of that. The only thing that's going to help me do those things is knowing how to fight. So, number one, night one, I need a master melee, I think. Because if I don't, I'm just going to cripple myself. Let's get some of this stuff built. Uh, down, down, down. Uh, how am I going to get in? Forget about the shape of the house for now. If I have a passage going this way and the stairs at the end, that's probably going to be my best bet. It's not pretty. I bet I'm missing vines again, yeah? Uh, yeah, okay, it's fine. We can keep doing this. I thought I heard something move then. Okay, question number one. What's number two? If I get attacked now, what do I fight with? I haven't got a bow, I haven't got a gun. I've got this axe, but damn, is it slow. Look at it. Unless I was sure, if this was seven days of die with a swing speed like this, I would need one of two things to happen. One, it to deal a huge stun to wherever I hit so that I get time to re-swing. My ability to move during mid-swing, which I've already tried, I can't. Doesn't let me. While I'm swinging, I'm fixed in place. So if I can't swing and move at the same time, I 
I need a faster weapon. I'm lo I'm looking at you, Dagger. Dagger, are you going to be quick enough if I get attacked right now? To kill a zombie. I don't know. I need... Need to investigate where else I can build, where else I can make. And sort of some kind of weaponry. Let's have a quick look. Uh, that's chests and stuff. This is some kind of crafting. Workbench. Workbenches. Workbenches. All kinds of workbenches. Cooking. Building. Traps. Okay. I'm going to need to get some of these workbenches down so I can sort that where I got. And to do that, I need to get some more base built. I get two more. <laughs> okay, uh, is that the wrong way? Yeah, that's the right way. One. Okay, I think that's probably going to do me for now. I can always destroy what I got. So I want stairs here. And my house is going to be over there. What do I need for stairs? Oh, wrong button. B. Stairs. Vines. <laughs> you can just tell, can't you? That's fine. Not a problem. I have no issue with games that require me to go around and gather resources. Because at the end of the day, you have to think about why are you playing the game? And this is a strange question. And it's the same with my settlements game. It's the people who rush forward and try and get to end game and get through the eras end up in a lot of problems. And they learn then to play it again a second time and take your time. Take your time in each of the eras. Gather stuff, train up. And this is my thing I got with a lot of the way that people play games like, you know, your Worlds of Warcraft and all the stuff like that. Is... They're only interested in trying to get to what they conceive to be end game, So they rush through everything. But then when they get there, they complain there's no content. <laughs> and it's like, look, you've just run through the content as fast as you possibly can. So don't complain there's no content. Light, light on. Oh, light. Light off, light off. So don't complain there's no content. Simple as that. Check the map. We did check the map. There's the map. Ah, here we go. Build tables. Build it. So my thought is simple. Uh, I need iron and I need stones. I wonder if we can smash up in these. Well, yeah, my thought is simple. Now is enjoy the parts of the game you're in. If you're playing a game that's about gathering resources and building a house, then no point complaining that you're having to spend time grinding resources. Because that's the point of the game, yeah? The point of the game in this is not to get to the end game. It's, uh, clearly, I don't know what the storyline is going to be, but getting to the end game is basically saying that it's over, yeah? You know, you finished. So now what? So, no, the point of this kind of game is enjoy yourself gathering resources, building a building, and at the same time as you're doing those, by the way, you're going to get attacked by zombies. So that's cool. So as I said, I have no more iron. No issues with a game that requires me to gather resources. Now, if this doesn't give me a piece of iron, I'm wondering whether or not I'm going to have to go down to those cars and things back in town. Which is one of the negatives of being in the location that I put myself. Is the amount of time it's going to take me to travel back and forth. But that's fine. 
As I literally just finished saying, the point of the journey. <laughs> okay, so no, limestone stuff, no iron. Let's go down to the town. Oh, the road. As a fantastic Rush song used to say, the point of the journey is not to arrive. Because once you've arrived, well, the journey's over, isn't it? There is no more journey. So the point of a journey is not to arrive. Wise words. Okay. So, to get to where I've just got, just run up that pathway there. Absolutely fine. So, I'm now after iron. Now, I've stripped this thing. What's this? Oh! <laughs> Good job I came back. I have a journal! Yay! Guys, we'll, I'll read that later. There's no need for you to sit here watching me read. And I'm not one of those YouTube channels that reads out to the audience everything that's on the screen and rereads conversations with NPCs. I mean, really? I, I mean, no offense to those YouTube channels. Some of them are very, very popular. But that's not what I want to see when I'm watching a YouTube channel. I want you to get down to the action. I wonder what the game's about. I don't want to know the conversation with the NPC. Summarize it for me. The NPC says I gotta go and kill the king. Fine. That's all I need to know. Let's go kill the king. <laughs> don't give me the whole conversation. No, I wasn't even watching. Did I get metal in? Is there metal in any of these things? Plastics, rubbers, research, iron plates. Pieces of iron. There you go. That's all I need. Okay, so running is shift. Oh, look at that. So, on the top bars, I got some black stuff. We'll have to investigate what that is. There's nothing here to tell me, and I can't remember reading anything. Let's see what that black stuff is. Okay, we're trying to be logical. Let's think about what that black stuff could be. Well, it's not damage. I haven't taken any damage. It could be time without rest, so it's capping things out. It could be not eating, so it's capping things out. Hmm. There's some kind of perma cap going on. So we need to think about what that is and how to resolve it let's carry on with the main quest line for now hopefully it'll tell me if not we'll work it out we'll we will suss it out don't worry so stick this dude here okay you have a table make a bow that's just what i want to hear Ooh, now that's a different kind of axe isn't it not like my crafting axe that's like a fighting axe spear flamethrowers Swords. The bow needs a vine. That's easy enough. What's my spear need? Iron ingots. Oh, well, that's not going to happen right now. A vine. I'm kind of using up all of my nearby resources here. But that's okay. It's literally a case of... I need to clear this ground. One way or another, I need to clear this ground. Because I need to build a house here. So I don't really care. <laughs> Bow. Dun, dun, dun. Bow. There you go. I want a spear. So I want I want a piece of iron. Iron ingot if I can find one or craft one. Clearly. Oh. I was going to say, do we need to craft arrows? And there you go. Let's get some arrows. However many arrows that is. 25, cool. 30. Stack them in 15s. Okay. Bolts, a claw hammer. Just did the axe. Pickaxe. The mining ore. That would be sensible. Get another vine. 
Let's get myself a pickaxe. It'd be much better to hit these stones and rocks with a pickaxe than it would be with a tree felling axe, I would have thought. Let's have a quick look. I don't think we can mine this stuff, but we'll have a look. No, straight through. There we go, that's better. Yay. Did it get anything different? No, it looked the same. Oh well. Um, bows. So, arrows. I've got 40. Good. How do I shoot it? Ah. Okay, okay, okay. Right. Suss that out. Important thing to work out. Can I pick it up? I can. Excellent. Important things we need. How to fight. How to stay alive. Next thing is that black bar thing. I need to know. Can I pick? Oh, I can take these. Cool. I did see that there's like farming and all kinds of stuff in this, which all good survival games need. You can't really have a survival game if you don't need to eat and farm and all the rest of the stuff. Okay, so let's make a sleeping bag. I will make a sleeping bag in a moment. I'm just gathering more pa Oh, an apple. More parts to do with my house. I wish I knew what the black bar was. I don't think it's going to be eating, though, because I... Th Let's have a look. Minus 10 health. That's not a good start. 5 health. Minus 5 health. No, I ate and nothing happened. Seeds... Energy bars. Condition. Plus 20 condition. Hmm. If that black bar is condition, we need to let it go a bit further before I go and regen 20 of it. Because that's a waste of twice, isn't it? Because that's not 20. Am I watching that? I'm looking at right now. Is this... Yeah. Oh. That stone is flammable as well. We'll do that afterwards. Next thing I want here is another piece of building. But we'll have a look at utility as well. So utility, sleeping bag, flags. Sleeping storage, we need storage. Oh, I've got enough. Okay. Ooh, spawn point. Right. Think sensible. No, forget sensible. I'm playing Iron Man. There is no spawn point. I'm dead if I need this. So this is just one of those things I need to create. What I was going to say is if I need to respawn, then let's spawn away from where the combat is likely to be, which is my house. So I get a chance to like run away until I've got a house big enough to have a proper nice spawn point inside it. But I'm playing Iron Man. It's, there is no revival. <laughs> I ticked the box to say hardcore mode. So yeah, that's a, a pointless, pointless thing for me to build. Waste of resources. Create an animal trap. Reward. Oh, is that iron? Ingots. If they are, I can make a spear. Okay. Animal trap. Animal. Uh, let's have this somewhere where I can actually see it and investigate it. So up here will do. Iron ingots. Right. Let's straight away get in here. I wasn't here. So it was on in, in that crafting table. I want... Something I can fight with. A spear. Yes. Okay. Oh, we're looking good. I have an axe, a dagger. I don't think this axe is going to be any good for fighting with. 
The dagger. Yeah, potentially. Potentially I could fight with the dagger. Spear. Mm, okay, not quite sure what that last blow was. Um, okay, why is she doing that? So let's try and master this. Forwards. Forwards. Is she always doing that on the third swing? It's not really what you want to be doing with the spear, love. That, that, that doesn't work. <laughs> the pointy bit is on the end. Spear. Spear. Back off. No. Spear. Spear. Sideways. No. So straight thing doesn't cancel it. Can I mid swing cancel the animation? So attack. No. I can't. Jump. No, even a jump doesn't cancel it. Ah, okay, there's a time period. Not enough time period then. Okay, so... Okay, I think I can, I can master, I can, I can do something, I can work with her, yeah, I can work with her. The fact you can't move mid-swing limits your tactical options in combat. But that's okay. Thing is work with what you got isn't it work with what you got don't try and reinvent something see what you got assess it out make the best of it so create a research table let's have a look at that research sounds cool utility research what do i need rope planks lumber okay i don't have any of that <laughs> Uh, how do I get that? Yeah. Okay, well, that looks like a good option. Farming. I've got that. What does that say? No tools can control this there. Okay, that's another table. I can put it there. And it makes it awkward, doesn't it, as to where my house is. No, okay, that's that's okay. Let's put that table down here. We've got room. So craft, material table, build. Oh, that's big. Uh, up against the back here. Damn, that is big. If I rotate it. That would be better. Ha <laughs> ha it's tiny. Okay, clearly that must upgrade into all that blueprint then, so. Okay, that's all. I just have to remember that this whole square is actually going to be a big table. So I need another foundation here to walk around, minimum. Okay, never mind. Can I do all that other stuff on you? Um, no. What did I need? Research. Rope made of cloth. It can be made on the crafting table. I just made a crafting table. I didn't see rope. Oh, no, there's another table. Okay, I'm getting the idea. Oh, I need a little iron. So I need a lumber and a plank for this. A lumber takes up logs, plank, I now just need, what was it, a load of iron I think wasn't it, uh, crafting table, three pieces of iron, iron can be obtained from synthetic materials, 
so I can't mine pieces of iron because I'll be ore. So they talk about actual pieces of iron. Is that a dead animal? It's a fox. My my trap killed a fox. Can I reset my tap trap? Yeah, I can. Fantastic. Okay, I got animal intestines. Wonderful. I need what's my backpack looking like? Yeah, I need to create some kind of storage here. What have we got in the way of storage? Build. Storage. Fire interior? Well, that's not storage, that's decoration. I suppose, well, okay, that's crazy. So, don't know what all these are, but there's a storage box. I need plastic at the crafting table and another wooden plank. So, a wooden plank and plastic. So, wooden plank. There's no plastic. What do they mean this crafting table? No? Uh, maybe? Um. <laughs> no. This is the disassemble, is it? As I say, I didn't, I, that didn't look weird. I look weird. Um. It just said, okay, I'm confused. It just said for me to be able to craft storage, utility storage, plastic can be made on the crafting table. Craft, crafting table is the one I've got here. I'm sure, isn't this a crafting table? <clears throat> no, this is the materials bench. I haven't made the crafting table. This is one of the things. See, I'm running around in circles now. I haven't actually gone into making the crafting table yet, have I? For that, I needed the iron. So, yeah, I'm running around in circles. Let's go down to town. Take my spear with me. I need. What's the time? Ooh, four o'clock in the afternoon. We're okay, I think. Uh, he says to himself. Don't quite know what to expect. Ooh, I thought it was a zombie then. Don't quite know what to expect from these zombies. I could do with finding a couple and fighting them, couldn't I, before tonight? Just to test out a few, like, things. Get a oh, here's one. Oh, he's running towards me. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I missed. Oh, look at that, straight in the head. Okay, no problem. Absolutely no problem. Aim for the head. Dead zombie. There's metal in there, but... Can I break that up? Oh, I thought there was another zombie coming in then. Bloody dear. It looks like there's rebar in here. I'm not sure whether it's going to let me actually break it apart though, because it doesn't, doesn't seem like it's. I gather it's for the mushrooms. Let's get the mushrooms out of the way. Is that actually doing anything? Is that when I hit the floor? No, it's definitely doing something. When you swing the floor, nothing happens. So something here is happening. But if if this is rebar concrete, I mean it could take a long time to break up. But I'm thinking, well, there's metal in there. Will it let me have this? God, it doesn't show any sign of. Uh, of breaking though, does it? So maybe this is not a good idea. Just wasting the time. Okay, let's let's stop that. I don't think that's going to work. Let's go back to my spear. Okay, so we fought a zombie. That was no bad thing. It's bad that he was running. That's a bit scary. 
Oh, I hear some zombies. Ah, oh, a piece of iron. There you go. I, I can see zombies, but I'm hearing one closer. You might not be hearing it on your end. Oh, I can see one in there. He's in the house. Hello, zombie in the house. <laughs> Look at him. Can you see me through the window? Stupid zombie. God, it takes quite a long time to loot. There's probably like feats or perks or something that I can train in to make that go quicker. At least I hope that is. Because, yeah, when, when I want to sneak into somewhere and grab some stuff quick, I don't want to be spending that long time just opening a box. Let's go to the zombie and get this car, shall we? We need, we need to practice combat. Let's get a bow. Nice. Nobody else is coming, just the one zombie. Yeah. Aim at the head. Oh, missed the head. Oh, where's he going? Oh, missed the head again. Gotta get the range right. Oh, okay. Two things to note. A and get my arrow back. B they drop treasure. Zombies drop treasure. Oh, he's in the box. It's good the zombies drop treasure. In seven days to die, they used to drop treasure until in the end, that was it was just too easy to farm for equipment by just endlessly summoning zombies by lighting campfires and getting them to die in said campfires <laughs> or doing traps that just summon them via campfires and have them fall into like oh my god is she summoned monsters where is she going what the hell is she doing okay are you a screamer that summons <laughs> what kind of rag doll was that <laughs> <laughs> I swung my spear but I picked it up in the air or something. That was a bit freaky. Funny. <laughs> right, okay. I'm not, at the moment, bothered by any of the zombies that I see. They're only coming to me one at a time, though. I think three or four. Is that, is that got enough pieces of iron yet? Three or four zombies could be a problem. Only because I can't kite properly. And what I mean by that is because I f am frozen mid swing, it means the moment I attack, I have to stay stationary. That's not good, is it? <laughs> not into fighting multiple opponents, you need to be able to constantly back off. Okay, hmm. I need to think about that. How do I fight multiple opponents? Constantly backing off. All right, now I'm a safe distance from everything. Let's have a quick check. Do I have everything I need for the crafting table? I do. Yeah, I've got loads. Let's get back. Okay. That black bar thing is um, still an issue. So, okay, I think what I think I'll do is I'll end this episode now. It's on long enough, and we're nowhere near the big night yet. Night number one. So, I'll end this. I'll get this uploaded so you can see what crazy thing I'm up to. I'm trying to do Iron Man in a brand new game that I don't even know what I'm doing. That's the way to go. So yeah, let's do that. Um, click likes. I know, you know, people say go oh, click the subscribe and all that. I don't think people realize sometimes how to best get YouTube to work in my favor. I'm such a small channel. I need I need all the help I can get. So what I need from you, if if you want to, you know, help me out here, is. Click the like buttons. 
on all of my videos why not and also leave comments even if your comment is hey i'm leaving a comment or tom under you're crazy for doing iron man you don't even know what you're doing yet and that actually helps an awful lot with regards to more people seeing this video so yeah please do me a favor to spam the like button leave some stupid comment any old random comment i don't really really mind uh, and you'd be doing me a great favor. Thank you very much. I will see you all on episode two.